The influence of, of Thiago Silva goes, goes deep in that team, particularly across the, the defence, Graham. Yeah, I think when you, you go back to Liverpool a couple of years ago, they were a team, got to a Champions League final, they were a nearly team. They get Alisson, Van Dijk in, they go from being a nearly team to the real deal. And for Chelsea and Chelsea supporters, they'll be hoping that Mendy and, and, and Silva can do that for his Chelsea team. You know, it takes them from being vulnerable to a team that are, are consistent. That you, you, if, you, if you're going to, I always felt that you, you must have experience. If there's one area of a pitch you need the experience and it's your centre-back. Yeah. And the reason to say that, if a centre-back makes a record, it generally leads to, leads to a, an effort on your goal. Or if a full-back makes a mistake, a, a centre-back can go over and maybe cover that. And I, I just feel that that's one area of the pitch you must have experienced mm -hmm. in that centre-back area. And they've now got it. You know, they have now got, got it. it. And, they, and they've managed to turn around that kind of leaky... And I know they conceded today, but turn around that, that leaky defence into something that looks a lot more solid. Plus, they have the attacking capabilities of, of both full-backs. You've both mentioned Rhys James and Ben Chilwell. Yeah, I, I, whenever now Rhys gets the ball, it's very difficult for, for, for opposition to take up positions to mark them because we, we, we talk about Zayic, you know, coming into that space. So now you, you've got crosses from two different angles. It's, it's similar to Liverpool, Graham, now. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got the Trent going out wide and curling the ball inside, or you get a Salah driving inside and now combining or getting shots off. So now they've got similar uh, similarities around that and now you're getting, of course, penetration and runs at one, and willingness to attack balls now. So this happens all the time. When you buy a player for a lot of money, all the focus is on them. So you've got Ben Chilwell spent, I don't know, was it 50, 60 million quid on a full buy, all the focus on him. And Rhys James, have got, he's a top player. I mean, given his age, he's going to get better and better. And, and he's, um, we talked about his strength and his pace and his delivery. In, in terms of defending, it looks like he's got that already. So you can only see him getting better and better. And I, I, I said to Ash off air, I said, how strong is he? And there's an incident, if you see the third goal, where it's a free kick by Zayek out on the right-hand side, Max Lowe comes in, fouls him, yeah. so it is a foul, and then there's a bit of coming together and he just ragdolls Max, just pushes him <laughs> to the ground like a little boy. I, I think he's, he's imp uh, uh, you know, improved so much I think you know defensively one-on-one -on -one, he's, he's getting out to play as quicker with an idea of what he wants to do uh, you know whether show him line I think he's more aggressive when he's going out and pressing players I think he's covering better his recovery runs to get back in have improved so no I think you know you, you look at also he's keeping Aspilicueta out of the team captain so you know Frank's took a gamble but Reese, I think he's proved that he must be doing something in training think of the modern so, game I mean if you're playing against this Liverpool team I think one of the priorities would be try to, trying to stop Robertson and Trent Alexander because the full-back in the modern game isn't a defender, uh, first and foremost. It's someone that can do a bit of defending but gets up the pitch and when he gets into the attacking third, he can deliver on it. Now, if you can get someone who can defend, that, what a real bonus that is. But for, for, I think Rhys James is, is all of that. I think he's got absolutely everything in his, everything in his game. Um, so for Chelsea, it looks like they've won the lottery in the full-back positions. And if you think of their age, it's a decade.